So we can just go straight to score now. I presume you've all installed it. One uh, first issue that you may encounter on boot is um, there may be a little pop-up window here telling you that you don't have a proper uh, sound driver because the, um, the timeline is uh, synchronized to the audio clock. So you want a good sound driver, a proper working sound driver for the timeline to synchronize and for time to pass, basically. And if you maybe change your sound configuration or something, uh, you can just go into the settings and in the audio tab, you'll have a choice of a different valid driver for your system. And then uh, you will have to make sure, for example, if you use Alsa or if you use a core audio, I have to make sure that you have a working device for it, a device that uh, allows you for uh, output. If you actually want to output audio or for in and out, if you want to process audio, um, I'll just be using Jack. Um, also something to note, if you're not going to use audio at all in score, you can just use the dummy uh, driver, which uh, will just simulate audio clock. With the dummy driver, you can actually tailor it to the, the sort of uh, frame rate uh, you would normally use. But I'll just use Jack today. The auto stereo button, if you just uh, are rendering on a, a stereo system, you'll hear um, the, your, your mono output on both uh, speakers. Whilst we're in the settings, uh, you can see uh, in the execution tab, there's actually, uh, there might be by default a lot of features here that you don't really need, that there might be more advanced features. So for now, I would uh, recommend just using uh, the listening during execution and possibly the parallel execution if you are going to, for example, run uh, several uh, processes at the same time, parallel might help. If you have a very linear way of writing your score, maybe parallel is not for you and uh, you'll actually get uh, better performance without it. So that depends on the score you're writing. But other than these two, I, I don't think uh, is very useful um, uh, for basic basic usage to to have any any other settings. A final thing in the settings, uh, you want to make sure you are using the proper uh, user library because we actually um, have a lot of um, uh, examples and presets in the user library that might be helpful to you. So um, yeah, it'd be a good time to say that I actually don't uh, develop SCORE. I'm not uh, the primary developer of SCORE. This is Jean-Michel Célérier, who's our main, main developer. I, uh, you, I uh, mostly maintain the user library that you can find uh, at uh, this address uh, right here. So it's um, github.com slash osia slash OCS score library. Maybe some of you, um, if you have a, a recent enough version of score, there was a pop up uh, asking you if you wanted to download uh, automatically the user library. Um, if for some reason it hasn't downloaded it, you can just download the user library here, uh, maybe download as a zip file. And then you choose a place on your computer where you're, you're happy to just uh, uh, store this library. And then you have to reference the, uh, the path uh, of your user library in this tab right here. So then you get access to everything in the user library. If you're doing this for the first time, you may need to restart score for the, the user library path to be, to be added. So now that we got this out of the way, we can see that uh, in here on the bottom corner here, we have uh, the little um, on icon that is uh, is uh, yellow. So it means that our driver and our clock is on. So we have a proper driver. Um, we can make sure that uh, everything plays and everything works normally. And then we can also check if we have a proper uh, user library. So the user library would be on this little tab right here, which is the little um, the little folder image with a little uh, a little person on it. Just click on it, and here I can see in the press presets that I have a bunch of presets, a lot of Faust presets, 
uh, I'll have uh, shaders and then I'll have a few devices, example of devices as well. So for some of you, uh, if uh, the library was uh, downloaded automatically, it'll just appear as one more tab here, which will be score user library. And for and all the other ones you can use as your uh, at your leisure, but they they will be empty. Could you show where I can um, download the user library again? Yeah, sure. So you can just download it from this website, and on the the little uh, code widget here, just this, you unzip it uh, at the place of your your choosing. Mm -hmm. And then you just uh, have to remember where exactly you've put it. So if I uh, just go in a in a file browser for me, yeah. uh, it's in my yeah. documents and uh, repo. And then I have a um, the score user library. So I can see that is document repo score user library, and I can just reference that in the settings right here. So that's my home uh, path, and then documents repo score user library. Okay. With dashes, yeah. Uh, I, I are you on the the Mac? Yeah. Yeah, on the Mac. Yeah. Okay, on the Mac, it'll be it'll be uh, something similar. It's not going to be exactly exactly the same here, but uh, something similar. I think uh, on the Mac, you can probably right click on the folder and it'll give you the full path or something that you can just. Can I, I just see like um, I um, kind of already downloaded it, but um, it's all in DSP format and. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So you you. You have the list of Faust. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So that's that means you have a working user library. That's fine. Right. The DSP format will be um, compiled on the fly in Score. Uh, we've noticed that on Mac and PC there was a, a version, one of the latest version, that uh, didn't feature uh, Faust. So we we can troubleshoot it uh, together now. If you don't have the Faust working, you can use a different uh, version of Score. You can go back a step. Mm -hmm. um, but it should be fixed in uh, in uh, following releases as well in, right. uh, in the next releases.